So hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this week we've got the plumber here and he's sorting out all the water in the convent. Um, he's been isolating parts of the building which we're not going to use and we're leaving on parts of the building that we want to use. So here are all the new valves which he's put in. This was a really old valve, um, it wasn't working. This valve was also not working. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Okay, I think everything's okay. I'm just gonna go back upstairs now and double check with the plumber, Richard. Hopefully there's no leaks. Keep hearing footsteps. So some great news everyone. I may have found us a new bell for the bell tower. That's gonna be an interesting project. I think we're seeing that next week on Monday. So I'll be filming that for next week's video. Also, I may have also found us some new gates. Um, the gates are in a town called Po, P-A-U. It's really, really close to the Spanish border. Um, it's about a 10 and a half hour drive one way from here. So that's gonna be an interesting trip, isn't it? Um, we're just arranging out a few details and uh, hopefully we're going to get those next week as well. So new gates and a new bell. How amazing is that? I was just using this table that I have found in the chapel. It makes a great tripod. It's missing a drawer. So every week that I come to the convent, I notice a few things keep moving or I'm not sure, doorways keep being opened or closed also bags, like rubbish bags, um, are sort of strewn all over the place. It looks like something or somebody has gone through those. Um, I can't explain what it is, so I've got a great idea. So with the help of these Reolink cameras, we're gonna find out what's happening when we're not here. We've got screws for mounting. Um, this is the adapter if you want to mount the camera anywhere on a wall or on a surface. This is the power cable, which looks like it has an incredibly long lead. And here's the camera. Look at that. Right. Let's set it up. So setup is pretty easy. You open the app and you scan the QR code underneath. Connection to the router succeeded. Welcome to Reolink. Okay, uh, the cameras are all set up. I've actually got two that are currently set up um, and I'm just gonna point them both in places where I think it might catch something. Um, so this is really exciting. We're gonna see what's actually gonna happen here, what's happening here at night. So yeah, let's see what happens. Welcome to the second attic, everyone. This attic is above the main part of the building. Um, as you come into the courtyard through the gates, uh, it's the main building in front of you. So you have three levels. You've got the ground floor, 
first floor, second floor, and this is above all of that. Um, I've never shown this attic properly. I've only been here in here twice. Once when we viewed the property, and the second time with Dad when we were looking for the access to the secret room. So I'm going to show you some things up here that are quite interesting. I believe it's probably been used for storage or something like that. So let's go and have a look. So this is the top of the staircase. It's so, so beautiful. I love this staircase. It is an amazing piece of art. Um, <sighs> What's this? Looks like something's been living in here. Uh, you've got these pieces of cast iron. They look like they belong in a fireplace. Um, I'm not sure. That looks like a nest. So this building that we're currently in is from 1772. So it's all 18th century. Just look at the plaster work on the wall. Right, what's all this? So you've got these, they look a bit like funnels. Um, oh wow, they're really heavy. I'm not sure what they would have been for, but I believe they're probably full of sand. There's one. Two, three, and this one has been painted gold at the base. Interesting. What else is here? I've got some newspaper. Got a lot of linen up here. Hmm. Okay, interesting. It's just stuff. An old chair. I just did on something hard. Don't know what it is. It looks like an old tile. Let's keep going. Aha, so this looks like the back of panelling that would go around a room normally. Let's move all this linen out of the way and have a bit of a look. So let me just lay it down a minute. Can you see that everyone? That is panelling with doors for storage. Oh, that's amazing. That's really nice. <laughs> the first thing that I noticed is that it's actually painted to look like better quality wood. But looking at it, it's probably made of oak anyway. So <laughs> oh, what's here? Lots of linen, a box of linen. You've got a small suitcase. A barrel that looks like an old skylight. This is very unusual. Um, built into the structure is like a small room. Um, I'm not sure what it would have been used for. You've got all these old Hessian sacks, a wooden box. You've got a picture of Christ. On the cross, uh, that says Gross et Hoff. Hmm, interesting. You've got old sheets and bedding. Hmm, this looks like it was possibly designed to carry something. Hmm, maybe in a procession, two people could carry that. A shoe, <laughs> only one by the looks of it. Wooden box. Let me look inside the wooden box. 
Um, it looks like paper, coloured paper. Ah, here is more of the panelling. Exactly the same stuff. So at some point they've obviously taken out a room and stored it all up here. There's more here. More below it. Wow. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. Hmm, that looks like an arch that you would use to support um, an arch when you're building it. Um, so imagine you were putting stone or bricks to create an arch. That would be ideal, wouldn't it? Yeah, sort of. Hmm. I'm going to open this window, uh, let some fresh air through. Ah, whereabouts are we? Let me try and show you all. Okay. So yeah, you can see the spire, the bell tower. Very nice. Let's keep going, see what we can find. So you've got all this rope, which was probably for drying um, fabric. The roof is, well, it's like new. Um, from this side, which is a great sign. Most of the roof on the convent is in really, really good condition. Most of it has been replaced um, within the last 20 years. I'm not sure what that is. Just in there. It looks like legs for something. Um, I'm not sure. Let me just zoom in a minute. Yeah, it looks like the base of some sort of stand. Um, I'm not sure. <sighs> You've got an old pallet up here. Got another crate. Something's been sort of <laughs> languishing in the insulation. This looks like ventilation for the rooms below. Wow, look at that everyone. That's not the sort of thing you see every day. <laughs> a pack of vintage Rizzola. I'm not sure which year it's from. That's awesome. Maybe the nuns were smoking. <laughs> it's a hard habit to quit. Can't blame them. So you've got more of these arches. There's another one there. You've got another old ladder. Wow, interesting. Looks like a small roof ladder there. Another arch, but this one is much more. This one looks like the same profile as the windows on the convent itself. These old tins. There's tuna. 
More tuna. Peas. More tuna. Wow, very interesting. We've got an old enameled cup. It's currently raining. Just thought I'd show you all the view. So that's it for the attic tour everyone, it's currently raining in northern France, um, I'm back at the chateau now and I'm going to have a shower because being in that attic with all that um, insulation on fiberglass um, has made me feel really really itchy. Right so thank you for watching this week's video everyone and I'll see you next Sunday.